Hi, this is Sherry. I have a few books to show you that I recently got at some thrift shops and a library sale. And some of these, I think most of these I'll use for the images inside the book and making junk journals and other things. So this book, Animal House, I just couldn't pass it up because of the really cool photographs of animals and then the backgrounds that were um, added into to the images. The book is by Katherine Ledner, L-E-D-N-E-R, and I believe the copyright is 2007. And I did get it at the local flea market. Now I just love some of these images. I don't know how the photographer, it must have taken her forever to get these poses. So look at that window where the, the sheep is looking through. It's just really creative. What wonderful portraits those are. Wow. Penguin. Rooster. Look at the patterns. Just beautiful. Now, I have to use these pages um, as they are. You know, I'm sure it's copyright. I'm not going to reproduce them or anything. Oh, there's the raccoon. I think that's the raccoon. Looking in the window, supposedly maybe at a house. Wants to get in those trash cans. Yeah, just look at that. Gorgeous. Yeah, well, magnificent. That background is gorgeous. I mean, all of them are. They remind me, and maybe they are, um, cre were created from wallpaper samples. I'm not sure. But the way that the photographer has used them as wallpaper is cool. Look at that. A doggy. There are a few fold-outs in this book. The pink flamingo. Goose, I think that's a goose. See how clever she has stripes cut in the paper for the zebra. <laughs> Kangaroo. And I love that squirrel. That sealed the deal for me. When I saw that squirrel, I'm like, I'm buying this book, even for that one image. The lop-eared bunny rabbit. I wish I had a wallpaper book with those images, with those wallpaper samples. Just so gorgeous. Camel and a llama, I think. Gorgeousness. Can't stand it. So I'm not sure exactly how I'll use that, but I'll use some of it for sure. Okay, this book is called The Baby Animal Party. And the copyright is 1986 by Katherine Ross and the illustrations are by Lisa McHugh and they're just so adorable it's, it's basically a little story for children about um, the bird comes in and says a baby's been born and all the other little woodland babies gather items to go and surprise the new the newest baby in the forest I love that. Look at those berries. Little butterfly. I'll definitely use these pages in some journal. Uh -huh. So many great um, artists out there. And these are somewhat realistic, but whimsical at the same time. Just darling. And the details, even like in the water the reeds, the leaves, the berries. Look at 
look at the apples. They seem so somewhat realistic. Just a lot of true artwork. Baby skunk. I don't know why, but they're so cute. There they go. On their little walk for the newest baby animal. And they all have their little presents for the newest baby. The deer and the little fawn. Again, uh, you know, these images of mammals are beautiful. Even the end pages are pretty. Here's another book about mammals, A Guide for Children. And it was written by Catherine Sill. It looks like it was illustrated by John Sill. And the copyright is 1997. I probably got this at a library sale. Yes, it was um, marked discard. So I probably, it was a children's book. I probably paid 50 cents for it, which was well worth it for some of these images. They're all great images. Porcupine. I don't see too many of that. Too many drawings of the porcupine. Flores. Buffalo herd. And it, it provides information on the animals for children. You know, what does a mammal look like? What does it eat? Where do they live? Oh, I love that. Again, it's realistic painting but with kind of a soft feel to it. If I'm doing artwork myself, I know these take a long time. Oh, another cute squirrel. I might have to do a whole book just on squirrels, a whole journal. I am going to be uh, on my list of jur junk journals to make. I'm going to be doing one on, on fish. I've gotten a few um, great fish images. Oh, Pika, Pika, P-I-K-A. Here's our friendly bear. Look at the, the trees and the forest, the mist in the background. Arctic fox. Jackrabbit, I think. A little muskrat. It's got the reeds in the water. Great detail again. Another, so there's the people looking in the woods. In the back, it has this neat little index of each drawing and what it was about. I definitely know I'm going to be using these images also. Yeah, discard. Park County Library. And I like to check out the um, covers. Sometimes they have some really pretty covers underneath the protective cover. And one thing I found at the library sale were these really cool little books. And uh, I just love the feel of them, the size. They're definitely been aged. They're super distressed by natural means. That is, they're old. There were three books on birds. The blue book, the red book, and the green book. And they each focus on different parts of the country or type of birds. And it looks like they were copyrighted in 1931. They're beautiful colored images, and I like to have these books too because they're a different size and 
I almost hate to use them. They're just so neat the way they're all funky. And the drawings, the artwork is, is gorgeous. So this is the blue book that includes swifts, hummingbirds, sparrows, flycatchers, phoebes, peewees, larks, finches, buntings, etc. It's a little banged up in the front. It had some old masking tape. See, those drawings are just perfect. And they're nice. I can use them to make small journals or just, you know, they could be nice little uh, tuck spots. I can use them to make tags. And this one, the um, front cover was missing and the back cover is fairly thin, thin cardboard. The green and the blue ones were nice heavy cardboard. But again, I just love the size. I love the feel of them. So this one, the red book, didn't have the cover. Again, it was um, copyright in 1931. And they were originally designed for as guidebooks for children. At least that's what it looks like to me. Although, maybe they were just for anybody, but they were in the children's section of the library sale. That's when they were 50 cents each. And I had never seen this series before. And this is one is about fish, saltwater fish, and it was copyright 1939. So again, it has the uh, name of the, the child. I can tell it's the child from the handwriting that he wrote in the front of the book. I'll definitely use some of these in my book about fish, my junk journal. I say book, but I mean junk journal. And then I had one more of this style of book, Insects. That's really cool. I mean, insects are kind of creepy, for sure. Uh, this was missing some pages, but with 90 colored illustrations, it's okay if it's missing a few pages. Again, it's got the heavy or duty cardboard cover. And some bugs, insects, are really cool looking. I have a large book with fantastic um, beetle images, artwork in it. So I definitely want to make an insect bug book journal. And hopefully I can make it look pretty at the same time. I don't think I'll include spiders in it, though. I, ugh, or cockroaches. Ugh, no, no, no. These little drawings are fairly detailed. Well, they're very detailed. I wonder what size they were when they were originally painted and drawn. Drawn and painted. There's these holes in it. I wonder if someone was using this to punch holes into the spine when they were going to um, add the signatures to a book. <laughs> Probably not. But I like the holes. They just add to its history. And this book, I opened it. You know, I was curious, what is this book? I couldn't read the spine. And it's called Keep Looking. It's a new book, 1989. And it illustrated by Norman, Norman Chartier, C-H-A-R-T-I-E-R. It is a newer book, and the pages are somewhat shiny, glossy, but again, the drawings are really nice, and it's a book for kids. It's basically saying, you know, there's a lot of animals out there, we just don't see them. So it teaches children and anybody as to, you know, where animals are outside that you don't see. They're little hiding places. So 
the mouse going into the bird feeder because the birds went south for the winter. Funny, beautiful artwork. Little snakes and ants, turtles and birds. I think that's a turtle. Mm -hmm. Shows what's living underground, some bugs. Little chipmunk. I think it's a chipmunk, a rodent, I'm not sure. There's some darn cute rodents out there. All the raccoons, so often they're depicted as playful creatures. Really, they're just getting into mischief. It's a beautiful owl. The moon and the snow. I like that this one is in the in the winter in the snow. Again, skunks are so darn cute. Bats come out at night. Deer eating some of the twigs. Beautifully drawn, beautifully illustrated. That's all that I have for today. Um, I find these books inspiring. It gives me all kinds of ideas for new junk journals to make. And I just wanted to share them. I think they're so cool, some of them. Thank you.